Hello and welcome. Now today's video I will be attempting to get a Steam achievement. I think it was called Happy Town and the requirement is for the city to have greater than 95% happiness uh, for five years. So I guess the five year duration is so that you don't just lower taxes and try to buy your way to a win. Uh, so you actually have to put some thought in the design. Uh, this particular city I've built offline, I didn't um, bother recording it for videos or streaming. You know, just so I can chillax and not think about things like that. Um, and I'm now wondering if it is time for me to try to modify it and get the happiness levels up to get that achievement. So we'll just firstly show the city. Now, if you've been watching my Porsche series, the idea behind that one was to create a nice city without going near a grid pattern. You might look at this city and think, this is a grid pattern. That's because it is. I was watching... I can't remember the exact title. I think it's a City Planner Plays City Skylines. Um, so a recent video of that was talking about grids and I thought, okay, the type of grids I tend to fall into when I was building earlier um, didn't really pay attention to road layout, so I'm trying more of a mix of the different types of road and it's working fairly well. This area was getting a bit congested, but I managed to come up with this funky junction to get around it for now but anyway that's a that's not the point of this video so like I said if I'm trying to increase happiness what is the current happiness so residential 87% so needs a little bit of work office they're happy industrial there isn't any I might put some in because I don't know if that would cause a problem to have no industrial zone and therefore no happiness and commercial happiness, I really have to work on. Um, specifically, specifically on commercial, uh, if I just pick this as an example, we've got some low density commercial here, high density there. If I go to noise pollution, I'm wondering if that is the problem I'm having. Is noise the problem for commercial? I don't know if that's the reason. But that's something I could try working on. Um, you can see I already tried putting some trees down. I think the only realistic solution really is to break it up so that it's not as dense. That would significantly lower the noise pollution levels, I hope. Um, so, jobs for today then. One, let's put some industrial in. Where do I put it? I'm going to have to buy another map tile, I think. Unless I want a bridge to this island, but then that could cause transport problems. I'm not thinking I want to do that. I could buy this tile. I mean, it'd be a bit boring, I suppose, but I can buy this tile. Because that has a decent bit of land. It's already connected to where I'm already... that tile uh, where's roughly halfway so actually maybe this tile it's going to be a bit, a bit broken but I need the space oh let's get both so I can continue a little bit up the side here and a bit around here now does the zoned industrial the industrial DLC pack count as Um, industrial. Because I'm thinking I really want a low pollution industrial. Or can I specialise this as farming with a normal one? Uh, I mean, this is. I don't know. I'm just going to try it, see what happens. 
which is pretty much most of what I do, I guess. I'm going to have to get creative on road connections, because at the moment this isn't brilliant, I have to admit. Um, before I forget, industrial, where are you? I didn't check, but I think it's safe to assume that's going to be very high, yep, really high forest resource. Straight in the middle there. I'm just thinking how I don't know how much space I want to leave it. Is that too big a zone? Should I break it in half? Something like that. I can take the water from the prison at least. There's some funky snap going on here. Why is it doing that? If I remember correctly, this type of industry doesn't create massive pollution, which is a great thing. And once people start moving in, I'll bring the power line over. Please build in this block. Please, this way, not that way, this way. Yep, a bit more, just a little bit more. I don't want to put a power line in there. That'll do. So just to check on happiness, very low happiness there. They don't, they're not happy. So what can I do to increase this number? Now it could be they don't have services. They don't. This so far away from everything else. There's nothing there basically. I don't need a huge amount of it either, I just need enough to be happy, so it's quite cheesy I know, but usually you slap in a park that makes them happy, or something like a plaza. They can have a picnic. Okay, that didn't help as much as I hoped. I'll stick a park in of some sort as well. A dog park. Is that a dog park? Yeah. That usually really has a big impact. Boom, look at that. Okay, they complete about workers, but build it and they will come. It's gone down. It was 60 something, now it's 50 something. Um, again, I'm wondering if it's because of the distance between them and, well, anything else really. Just double checking. Noise. Okay, that's a bit noisy. Pollution. There isn't. Just 
just going to plonk a little bit of low density commercial there. And then it's just noise, isn't it? Can I get away with residential or do I need to give a bit more gap? Oh, water. I'll come back to it. They haven't complained yet. If I just put a little bit of low density residential there, will that be enough? Now I really should check the water, yeah. Eighty-five percent. So building that seems to have helped, but I think they need still a little bit more something, and I think that something is going to be police and fire. So there's nothing anywhere near this area. So let's just build one and a fire station as well. Okay, I broke the. Power. This is a really annoying. I wish they had a bit of a bigger, a bigger zone, a bigger range. Eighty-nine. Could use a little bit more happiness. How do I get you to ninety-five? What, what would, what can I do to make you happier? Uh, what I will do before I do anything else is I'm going to just give a connection this way just to give another transport option otherwise everything has to go all the way around there to get to this area so just a quick bridge uh, that's going to be too close, isn't it? It's not going to have enough room to get up and over. I'll have to go at an angle. Well, let's just do this end first. There's no way that's going to go down. That's okay. Now, Luke. So at least there's a way for this area to get to this area without having to go the long way round. And look at that traffic already. Ninety-one percent. It need you need to be happier. What do you need to be happier? Um, haven't built you a clinic. It's more for the residential, I suppose. Oh, it gives them a small happy boost. Uh, have one of those as well. At least the area will be well covered then. 92%. But you need to be 95. How do I get you to 95? I mean, there's lots of buildings that can increase happiness. Again, this is more for residential than industrial. But it'll... If it keeps them happy... Oh, it still gives them a boost. Okay. 93, they're getting close, but not quite there yet. It's a bit of noise. Let's upgrade the road to the tree one. 
at least around the industrial. This is interesting in a way, isn't it? Putting um, trees on roads in a forest area that's specialising in forest industry. 95%. That's, that's done it. Right, don't touch anything. That's done. I might try to increase it a little bit further because I know my luck. It has to stay there for five years and it will drop to 94% for one minute and that's it. It's ruined. Start again. So I might want to go a little bit higher. But I'll leave that for now. Residential in general is a bit low. 87 that's going to be tougher to improve because there's so much more in um, not industrial residential in this town I think I am literally going to try buying the happiness I've got to be a bit careful as well my income isn't too brilliant it's only 5,000 at the moment I think I had seen it as high as 10 and I think I'm buying too many expensive things so have to keep an eye on that. Right, how do I increase happiness? More dog parks. Right, this area is... Well, that's not even residential, but I'll cover it anyway. For whatever reason, dog parks just really, really work well in this game. So let's increase that area happiness quite a bit. Uh, we've got a bit of a lull there, so go on in. You can have one. That bang, that'll do. A bit of a gap there, just to perk that up a bit. Uh, right, can I squeeze something around here? I don't want to demolish that thing. That's uh, I don't know what it is, but I want to keep it. It's like an abandoned church or something. It's an interesting thing that just happened to be on the map already. Abandoned building, not church. Well, it could be a church for all I know. Whatever it was, I just found it interesting. I want to keep it. Alright, bit more park here. Does it offset the power, two power stations right next door to it? A uh, little bit more coverage up here. And over there. So... Right, everything's in a bluish colour now. That's, I mean, there's some areas that are slightly weak, like there, but... Oh, this corner. You can have something. Keep your mind off the poo water that's next to you. Oh! The filter seems to be working at least. Is that like a fence of sorts? Because you don't want to go down there, do you? You end up in a poo water. But the cleaning things seem to be working. Didn't know that. It's keeping this side a little, little bit cleaner. And it's more of it's going that way. Um, right, let's check on our happiness. 94. Like I said, I want to get it a bit higher just to make sure it stays higher. Residential 87, commercial 76. Commercial, really don't know how, to, how or what to do with that. But residential is going to be a challenge as well. I'm wondering if the city is already too big to easily fix because it's a big enough size now. That it's, you know, whatever I do, I have to do a lot of it and that could get costly. I mean, what else can we do to try to work out what's happening? I mean, traffic... I'll classify this as busy but moving, so it's not, you know, nothing major needs fixing. This area is just really busy, but it's not important. So let's check the basics. 
garbage, that's okay. Education, they have enough. Not a huge amount, but enough. I even built libraries. I, I mean, I still don't get their usage. Do, we, do I need more? Do I care? Oh, industrial's gone down again. I thought it just made you... You were 95%. Why have you gone down to 92? Is it noise? Is it something else? You got utility coverage. You don't have transport. Land value. I could try bumping it up a bit more with more buildings. Uh, for this map, this doesn't matter at all. That's more the disaster stuff, isn't it? Tourism doesn't matter. They got some post coverage, haven't they? Uh, maybe it could do with a l just a tiny bit more. What I have might be a bit s stretched a bit thin. So what zones have I got where? Office. Right, we can put the post office by the office. Because they don't really care about noise, thankfully. They're quite resilient, the office zones. I like them for that. So that should increase coverage there. I might or might not need to put something down here. I'll just do it. Uh, that one. Which also increases happiness. That's a good sign as well. It's one of those indirect things that... In improving one area can have a knock-on effect to others because you're not spreading the resources so thin. I mean, because of the noise, I probably don't need one up here, but I could just stick one anyway next to the prison. See, it's increased their happiness. 85, it's, it's still going down. Why is it going down? You were so happy when you were new. Because I'm thinking some of the special buildings might help as well, but a lot of them are quite noisy. And this being a bit middle of nowhere might not be the best. Yeah, see, it's quite small coverage. Oh, that's got a bit bigger coverage. I can move it out a li little bit. So the noise doesn't impinge on them. I don't know. I just don't know. What are we on right now? 81. It's still going down. Why is the industrial getting unhappy? There's exactly three blocks here. I've given you all the nice trees. You've got a park. You've got a plaza. Literally next door to you. Put some commercial next door so you don't have to go far for your shop. 
to go to the shops. There's somewhere for people to live nearby, so you don't even have to travel far. You got some road connections, is that the problem? Do you want more road connection? I think I've seen mods. Why is it flickering between not operating and operating normally? Is that part of a problem? Do you want another road connection? Would that help? You need workers. Well, that's not going to help the happiness, is it? It's part of a problem that I have over-educated workers. They don't want to work. Um, wait a second. No, don't click there. Wasn't there a policy for Industry 4.0? Which, I, if, I, if I remember correctly, increases the demand for educated workers. There we are. All industrial workplaces are for well and highly educated citizens. Let's do it. Does that help? Not enough educated workers now. So they went from not enough workers to not enough educated workers. I'll just give them a little time. I'm, I'm fairly certain the city as a whole has enough, but they might just take a bit of time to re re-establish themselves. One thing that is possibly lacking here, now I think about it, is I didn't build a school or anything for these houses. So none of them were educated. Um, this is a long-term thing, I suppose. Again, it's not that the city is lacking in workers, but they're just not living here. Which means to get educated workers there, they have to travel and that could take time. Oh, yeah, they're not happy. I'm going to take that policy off for now. And they're happy again. For now. But what I will... Now that I've built the schools here... It'll just give them a bit of time. I'll give them a bit of time to settle in. 85% still. Well, since I've got facilities there, let's... I might as well increase the number of residentials. Why? Oh, that's because I'm on the ro wrong road thing. This road might get upgraded at some point to something a bit higher capacity, because at the moment... It's okay for the moment, but if I put more stuff here, that's when it could start going a bit badly. Right, you probably don't want to be too close to the prison. Note I'm also trying to zone a bit less densely now. 
Alright, let's just check the noise before I put the... Yeah. Maybe I don't want to use these after all, because there's a bit of noise pollution from the... Prison. Well, at the least, I need to upgrade to the tree road. too good for a prison really isn't it but I've got to try to contain the noise got to keep the residents happy as well because that is another goal to work towards this is killing my budget isn't it I'm not even looking at this number 6,000 it's okay it's holding Let's just go all out for this area. Yeah, I probably don't want to put residential in there, but I might put another commercial, just low density. I think I can afford to put just another block on the end here. Is that sleep? Um, I was going to say slopey and steep. Sleepy, slope, slope. Uh, yeah. It's probably a bit too close to the water. I'll go back one. So they're going to be smaller blocks, but that's okay. Oh, I'm still on the expensive road. That's fine. You're worth it. Yes, you are. Water. Okay. They're okay. Just about. It might help if I... Oh, let's just check the power connection first. Is that... That line is the entire line powering the whole section. I am just don't want to break it. And that's all I'm checking. So just to give another path there. A bit of redundancy. Uh, maybe another one there. Because I was about to extend this road over. Might as well. that funny little connection there that's okay and as expected it breaks the power connection uh, main reason for doing that is just to avoid funneling all the traffic there because I don't want the traffic going through the residential zone Why don't you have enough workers? Now, I was earlier thinking about expanding this road, but that's not going to be easy either because I have a ton of unmovable buildings here. Let's see how far I can get with a road upgrade. Uh, 
Okay, that's not entirely surprising. I'm not bothered by it. Uh, slope, that's not even... It's probably this junction there. And I'm thinking, if that building wasn't there, I can just really expensively move it. I'd have to redo that junction, but that's not impossible. I'm thinking I can take it to this this junction here. Let's do it. If I don't hold and break everything, let's do it. I'm going to hold B break everything. Is that... Okay, it's a little bit funky. But it works. It'll do. Probably should be another junction here somewhere. Or was that too close to that junction? And do I want to connect that up anyway? Because it'd be nice if I'm going to make it. I must make it a four-way connection if I do connect up. But I'm not sure. Like, okay, I can join that there. Uh, that can't go there, but it can go there. So something like that. Why can't you build power across that road? Oh, it's the slope, not the width. So I could do that, for example. The pain is real. Right. Now that's all connected. Should check this junction. I'll leave that one. Why can't I click that? Weird. I can't click that stop sign. Why can't I click that stop sign? Now I can. No idea what happened there. Yeah, it's not the best junction. But at least now I have a major route connection to this part of a map. I need to move this power station if I want a, I want a bigger road there, ideally, I think. Then I can go two-way again, and they don't have to use this funky side road. But, it, like so many things, if I'm going to move it, where do I want to move it? And now I can make that a nice six lane road to match the other bit. Boom. And again, just to check the road connections, that looks okay.
I am wondering actually if it's worth making this continue all the way straight and then have some sort of highway connection. But I'm not sure I've ever done one before with a highway termination. Like highway to highway junction, three way, that's that's easy, that's not bad. But I'm not sure teeing off to a non highway road is as easy. The main problem being the game logic just isn't that great when it comes to the lanes, unless you use a mod. Wait, I'm getting distracted, aren't I? This is not what I'm here to do. I am here to do happiness. 66%. It's... 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 it's crashing. Not enough workers. Do people not want to work here? Why don't... Right. Look at the demand indicator. They don't want more industrial. They want everything else. So I can't build offices, but I can... I'm going to have to rebalance the game, I think, basically, by building more residential and commercial. Now, commercial happiness, 75%. That's too low, in my opinion. Residential 86, it, again, it's still a bit on the low side. I think I'm just going to have to... Just got to keep building. Now, since I started this road, let's continue this. I mean, I don't know how... Oh, that's the wrong one, that's the wrong one, that's the wrong one. I wanted that one. Please refund me. Uh, doesn't look like my balance is changing. Is, is the road cost the same then? That's okay. I can I can I can live with that. Um, what I might do while I'm here is make a connection there and there and take out that one. And okay, I can't go too far into there. Look at that slope. I was thinking about building here, and I'm not so sure now. That is going to be challenging. Because by the time I put the road in to get away from the main road, you're up the side of a mountain. This might just be flat enough to get away with. But I don't I don't think that is. Or at most, it's going to be... This is true... Oh, no, nah. It's not even letting me build a road. It's too much. I mean, I can probably manage it from this side. Just about. So, I mean, I was just thinking I could do a little, just a little block there. I said little, just something like that. You know, people want to be a bit away from it all, in the, in the mountains a little bit. What is that junction doing? They're going to complain about power as soon as they move in. Any second out. Any second out. Well, they haven't complained yet, but I know they're going to. There they go. So 
So we still got the school in the area. They're not over overloaded. Yeah. I I think this type of industry for whatever reason seems to be least popular. They tend to gravitate towards other like office work for example. So I'm not I can't build any more offices, can't build any more I don't want to build any other industry. Yeah, don't look at that. Some cozy little street here, isn't it? Just a few houses surrounded by the trees and a mountain. I hope you don't get a landslide or something. Then you have to come down here to the school. Uh, yeah, there they are. Over a bit. You can get a job here. Please get a job here. A few shops and things. Ooh, that's a interesting one. I don't feel I've seen that diagonal design before. I give you everything. You're still not happy. Why aren't you happy? Seventy two per cent. Yeah. So it does look like making this city happy is not going to be a quick fix at all. It's going to take a lot of work and I'm not sure if expanding to fix it is better than if I just started again from scratch yet again. I don't think there's a population requirement for that particular um, achievement. So if so, doing it on a small city might actually work in my favour. Anyway, I think I will leave it here. I just love this, this little road. But um, I'll end this session for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.